I also makes a very big bold claim for next season. Hi guys and welcome to this video. If you could like, share and subscribe to the channel, I much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people's faces and subscribing lets me know you like the content. And if you hit that notification bell, let you know when videos go live. And if you want to donate to the channel, you can do. Super thanks is in the bottom bit below. I will reply to all and I will also then shout it out in the video as well. Uh, so, Sheffield Wednesday's Dom I offer make big claims about our recruitment this season. Now, this is an article by Alex Miller because Joe Crant is on holiday. He's uh, taking lots of foodie pictures and putting them all over social media, and I'm all for that. <laughs> uh, but Dan McKay also turned around and said that uh, he feels the additions in uh, height in the side will allow them to stop the number of gold they concede from set pieces. Um he turned around and said, Alpha's game picked I offer against Matthew Reha, former Lincoln City forward, who at one stage was known for being one of the most physical players in the EFL. He's a big handful, he's a big target man, I offer says, on the job. When you're up against them, there's no point fighting him. You make yourself a nuisance and sometimes let him flick it on so you can pick up the second ball. Those strikers, if you go out to fight them, they're always going to win. It's about being smart and feel like I feel like we did that eventually and letting Flynn got to the second ball. And it's interesting, when you look at what we brought in, he, he goes on to turn around and say that uh, uh, Michael Wayne Ben H Hennigan, we conceded a lot of goals from set pieces, that's no secret. The lag coming in will help with that. And uh, we can be dominant on the side. If we can improve on things, that are caught, that helps, of course. I wouldn't say there's any more pressure than last season, to be honest. The expectation from him is there to see. Nobody has changed on that front. That's that everyone idea and plan the pressure is still the same on us as players we don't talk too much about it we just look forward to getting through the preseason, those five six games and get in the building so they know what the pressure is at this club they know what they've got to do and it's very interesting when you hear a player who's currently at the club who've been there go we know what the what our mistakes were last season it's very well uh vocalized and shown that after our problem last season we conceded too many set pieces. We brought in height now. Now you're seeing Dominic Iorfa and player come out and go, we know what we need. This is what we needed. And it's going to help us going forward. Yet the whole situation with Harley Dean now changed. He's he probably not going to be looking at leaving because he's now got a new manager, new ideas. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. So yeah, let me know what you think about this. I think this is very good for Dominic Iorfa to come out and say these things because it shows the fans that, I often and the players know that there was big things uh, that needed sorting, and it shows us that they're, they're ready to improve and get things ready for next season.